Hi Thandeka, my name is Caitlin. I am a lady of 24 years of age. I have been single for two years now and frankly I feel that it has become embarrassing to say. I want to date but just never seems to happen and I'm so fed up of being single. What can I do to increase my chances of getting myself a life partner? Hey Katie, it's my pleasure to hear from you. A lot of people are actually going through the same thing but they will not confess it. Hopefully knowing that you are not the only one can ease your feeling of embarrassment. I'm 40, I live by myself. I haven't been in a real relationship since Jerry left me three years ago. This is perfectly normal in the sense that it's something you have the power to change whenever you wish to. Now, how can you change this? Here is a list of seven things you can do to get yourself a partner sooner. Number one, don't take breakups too personal. Remember, the goal here is to meet someone you are mutually compatible and happy with. The sooner you move on, the sooner you can find what you're looking for. Number two, be outgoing. The aim is to be seen so you can be approached. Use this chance to go for the things you always wanted. People who are reserved often close themselves indoors, especially if they don't have a friend to go places with. If that is you, this should not stop you from going after the things you like. Go out for some ice cream. Go on a personal vacation. Go to that event you always want to go to but never have anyone to go with. You never know what life is ready to give you when you are out in the sunlight. Number three, look and smell good. Not only should you be outgoing but you should stand out in your own unique way. Keep clean, do your nails, dress like you might meet your soulmate today because honestly that's your goal. Smell like heaven and exude good energy. Number four, be your best self. Live the life you have been postponing. Look good, work on yourself and personal growth, work on your short and long term goals. Waiting for a partner to live your best life is too much load to put on a person. Number five, be a lady. I'm not saying you shouldn't be yourself but a little effort comes with great rewards. Embrace your femininity and let out that lady. Research proves that men are attracted to women who are more feminine. They don't prefer a woman that talks like a man or dresses like a man because it makes them feel like they are with another man. You don't need a man Lauren. You are a man. Happy belated birthday. For you. Because yeah, we were like moving too so fast and what did you say? I said you sound like a guy. In the same way, women are least attracted to men that talk and act like a woman. A man like this, for example. Wait a second. Where's my phone? I look like a living garden gnome. Where is my phone? You don't think this would be a good moment to make a phone call or text somebody or change your status to stuck in a freaking video game? So my advice would be embrace wearing dresses and skirts, wearing earrings and jewelry, carry handbags, put on lipstick, avoid wearing caps, using backpacks, things like that. Number six, look single because you actually are. Most women stay single because they always have company when they go out. One thing is for sure. Going out and chilling with your brother or male friends can easily broadcast the impression that you are unavailable. In the same way, always keeping your female company with you wherever you go does not set the right weather for someone to approach you as well. Why? This could be for many reasons. Number one, research proves that 82% of men hesitate in approaching a woman when she's with company. They feel that you are surrounded and your company is most likely to influence your decision on whether to hear them out or not. They would rather try another time. Number two, fear of embarrassment. Honestly, he only wants your opinion of him. If you're willing to give him a chance or not, not what your whole company thinks of him. Number three, influential jealousy. That thing where you both like the same guy, but he wants to approach one of you. If you're going out with your sister and friends at an event, maybe try making space for someone to approach you. Maybe go sit at another table for a minute or two. You can can pretend that you're just going to make a call or something. Number seven, be social. Make a habit of making friends here and there. Having friends maximizes the chances of you dating because sometimes the person that you might date could be among your friends' contacts. Having friends also anchors you to the social life. It pulls you out of your shell and exposes you to new people. To support your friends, you might occasionally go to their events such as birthday parties, weddings, picnics, trips, and 
so on the list goes on and obviously they will do the same for you that sounds like you'd be meeting so many people you're bound to meet someone who wants to be your significant other sometimes it will be that the person you will become fond of is your friend's friend or a friend's relative or even the friend themselves thank you katie for emailing the question forum these are some of the things you could do to accelerate your chances of finding a life partner hopefully this will be all you actually needed to turn things around if you enjoyed this video let me know by leaving a like and possibly a comment i would love to hear your opinions also subscribe if you are interested in seeing similar videos this is tandeka with the question forum thank you